Okay, so next, let's create another region. And this will be for constructors, which I'm sure we will have multiple in the future. Um, obviously, we can't name it anything. Public back propagation network. Now, what are we going to need to give it? Um, what we expect is for the user to pass in an array of integers, which we will call layer sizes, which are going to hold, as you would expect, the sizes of each layer. So if you wanted to make a network with two inputs, three nodes in the hidden layer, and one output node, then this would be a, a sorry an array of integers uh, of length three with the numbers two, three, one, in it. Now each layer, if you recall, um, is going to be assigned a transfer function. So we also am going to need an array of transfer functions. Let's call it transfer functions for them to pass in. Uh, like that. Okay. So what they should be passing in is an array of sizes of layers and for each one of those a transfer function for that layer. Okay. So real quick, let's validate the input data. First of all, if transfer functions uh, dot length is not the same as the layer size's length, then I don't know what this means. That's going to be a problem. Or um, if transfer functions <coughs> zeroth entry is not equal to the none transfer function enum, then we're going to have to throw an exception. So throw new argument exception cannot construct a network with these parameters. Okay. Um, obviously, we can add more validation here, but this is quick and dirty, and you can add whatever you like. So let's start building everything up. So initialize network layers. Layer count is going to be layer sizes dot length uh, minus one, and minus one because when the user passes in this array, they're including the size of the input layer. Um, but for us, the layer count is really only going to be the number of hidden layers plus the output layer. Okay. Now we have our input size variable. This is going to be layer sizes of zero. And we have our internal layer size uh, variable, which is going to be a new integer array of size layer count. Okay. Now let's go ahead and, and set the sizes. So for int i0, i is less than layer count, i plus plus, we're going to set our internal layer size array of i to equal layer sizes of i plus one, right? Because we're going to take the zeroth entry and assign it to input size. And then in our new array layer size, we're going to set the actual layer sizes, um, which is going to be in the layer sizes array um, in the following entry from this index. Okay, so that's that. Similarly, we're going to set the transfer functions. So transfer function array, that's internal, is going to be new transfer function array of size layer count. Okay. And for int i0, i is less than layer count i plus plus, we're going to go ahead and assign the transfer functions into the network based on what they passed in. Transfer functions of i plus one, like that. Okay. And that is that. So what's next? Um, let's go ahead and start dimensioning our arrays. 
Um, bias is new double array of layer count array, like that. Um, previous bias delta equals new double array, where the first parameter is the layer, the second parameter we will determine later. And delta, <coughs> sorry, equals new double uh, layer count, like that. <sighs> layer output equals new double layer count array and layer input equals new double array of size layer count array. Okay. Now the nice thing about these is that all of these guys are going to have the exact same parameters and they're going to mean the exact same thing. So when we're creating these, it's going to go very, very similarly. Now the only guys that are different are the two weight ones because those have three indices. So weight is a new double array with first, first parameter of size layer count, array array, right? That's three dimensional. And previous weight delta is new double array of size layer count, array, array, like that, okay? <clears throat> so what we're going to do now is we're going to start, <coughs> excuse me, um, filling out all of the dimensions uh, of the second index, all right? Okay, so now for all of our two-dimensional arrays, we're going to go through each layer and start in, uh, filling them out. So for L equals zero, L is less than layer count, L plus plus. Uh, we're going to go through each layer. Oh, crap. Sorry. For int L equals zero, L is less than layer count, L plus plus. We are going to go through all of them and do the following. So bias of L, right, based on this layer, is going to be a new double array of size, layer size of L, right? This is why this is handy. And this is going to be the exact same for all of these uh, because they're all with the same indices. New double array layer size of L. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and pause this and fill in the rest of these and bring it back. Okay, so we're back. Now all I did, uh, well first of all I fixed my for loop, um, but all of these two-dimensional arrays, the bias, the previous bias delta, the delta, the layer input and output, are all dimensioned the exact same. Okay, The first dimension is uh, layer L, and for each layer L, there's going to be that layer size's many nodes um, of which we need their data. Now the weights are a little goofy. Now for weight on layer L, what I really need, well, is a new double array. Um, but what is the appropriate size? What we're going to do is we're going to say, um, for instance, the hidden layer, capital J, from part one or part two of my algorithm tutorial. Um, what I want is this first index to be the node from the previous layer that points to the current layer. Um, now this is going to be bizarre because in the case where L is zero here, uh, because the first input layer isn't really a layer, um, and I need to refer to the previous layer, that would be referring to index L equals negative one. Um, but what I need to do is set up this dimension right here to be the size of the input when I'm looking at L equals zero and the size of the previous layer otherwise. Okay, and I can do that using the immediate if style syntax. So if L is zero, then I need to go through input size. Otherwise, 
look at the size of the L minus first layer. Okay, like so. Similarly, previous weight delta is a new double array. Size L is zero. If that's the case, then, sorry, input size, otherwise the size of the previous layer, like that. All right. Now, uh, what's the problem here? Oh, previous weight for this layer is going to have the size of the previous layer. Okay, so now the only bizarre thing here is I'm doing this scan. No, sorry, not a scan. I'm, I'm in this for loop. Um, and L is the layer that I'm actually concerned with, right? This middle index for these three-dimensional arrays is the size of the previous layer. And for each one of those, I need to index the current layer to have the size, layer size uh, for this layer, okay? So what I want to do is go through each node in this index um, and set the size of the current layers uh, layer. Okay, so for int i equals zero, i is less than something, i plus plus. Okay, so what is this something? This something, it depends. Well, if l is zero, i should be going through this, right? This is, this is the bound we want. So i needs to be less than the number of nodes in the previous layer. And for each one of these, right, we're on the elf layer from node i in the previous layer. And how many destinations do we have? We have layer size of the current layer l's worth, right? And now something identical will happen. Previous weight delta of li is new double array layer size of L, okay? So this for loop junk wouldn't be necessary if we use two dimensional arrays for the weight portion and a single dimensional array to decide on layer. Um, this is the price we pay right now for having double array, 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 uh, but we do want that speed and um, why would you not want it to be as fast as humanly possible? Okay, so we'll go ahead and save this, and we're almost done. All we're gonna do is initialize the weights here uh, in a second, and that will be in the next video.